in this problem, we have someone who wants to take a poll, a political poll, and you can't poll everybody, it's too many people, but you want to be fair about how you choose the people that you poll and you don't want to let your own biases creep in. So in this case, the pollster decided that um, she would use three precincts and she would choose the precincts at random. So the precincts, that's just like geographical areas, usually groups of voters, and there's 32 that she's choosing from. And she gave them numbers from one to 32. And then she pulled this line from a random number table. So it's just, these are just random groups of numbers. And she started splitting them up into two digit numbers. So like 49, 06, 39, 78, 86, and so on. And then what she's going to do is just pull the first three precincts that show up in this list randomly that fit between 0, 01 and 32. So she's got to ignore numbers that are greater than 32. Um, she's got to skip duplicates because you don't want to pull the same precinct twice. And she's going to avoid 00, 0 because there is no precinct 00. 0. So if that's her method, the question here is what pre three precincts were chosen. So we need to go along taking these chunks two at a time and, and choosing the precincts. The, the first chunk we have here is 49. Uh, that's greater than 32, so that won't work. But the next one is, is 06, so that works. So 06 is good, we've got one. Then 39, well that's greater than 32, and then 78, and then 86, both greater than 32. Then we have 14, that works. Then we have 06 again, we can't use that because we've already got it, so we throw that one out. 39 is greater than 32, so is 38, so is 68. 78, 48, 37, 47, ah, finally 17. That's between 1 and 32, and it's um, not a duplicate. So we get precincts 6, 14, and 17. So that is how to use a random number table to make a, a fair decision.